Okay, this dog has salivation only on the right hand side. You can see now the saliva only come out on the right hand side. The left hand side, there is no saliva coming out. This saliva is thick and uh, this is the third day of hospital hospitalization and you can see that uh, only the right hand side now is quite obvious. The saliva is only on this side. And this is the main complaint from the owner. Only right hand side, but left hand side no saliva there. Left hand side, there's no saliva. So, what is the diagnosis? Mucosil, there's a swelling here. A swelling here. One, two, one, two lumps. Two lumps, and then uh, can you eat now. Can you eat now? No more vomiting. No. One, two, three lumps. Three lumps here. So this could be the salivary gland, some mandibular salivary gland leaking saliva out. Uh, no more vomiting, right? No. Mm. And. Uh, this is one big lump here. Two. I can feel one, two, two, uh, two lumps here. And you can see this side. This side there is no lumps. There's no lump at all. No submandibular lump. And no saliva salivation here. No salivation here. But the dog can eat. Can you can eat solid food? Hard food? No, no, hard food can eat. You can eat hard food. Now there's some pain in the throat. No? Okay, there's okay. some pain in the throat. Pain in the throat. So I I was thinking it could be an abscess of the salivary glands. Infection of the salivary glands. Okay, one, two, three, three lumps. There are three lumps. One, two, three. There are three lumps. Probably the limb node submandibular and or submandibular or cervical limb nodes or the salivary glands. Okay, March 20th, 2015, on 5. Papaya Vets, 5 p.m.